Everyone is aware of on-page best practices, but when you get your hands on data like this, that's when you take your SEO to the next level. What's up, you SEO pros? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at one of the most powerful SEO tools out there. This is a tool that I use in my day-to-day, -day, that my team uses, and that I've seen direct improvements in rankings after using it. So if you're new here, my name is John. I'm head of SEO at a startup here in Barcelona. And in this channel, we cover strategies and tools to help you grow your online business. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Surfer SEO. I wanna show you guys three of their most powerful features and how they can help your website with your organic rankings. So let's get directly into Surfer. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the Surfer audit, right? So I have this specific landing page that I'm building for a side project of mine. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to target the keyword Instagram caption generator, right? This page actually isn't doing super well. So what I wanna do is I wanna take the URL, I wanna put it into Surfer, I wanna add in that keyword that I'm trying to target. So it's Instagram caption generator. Let's take a look at what Surfer gives us because it's phenomenal. So if we click into one of these audits, what Surfer is doing here is that it's creating a live audit of the on-page of our website in comparison to competitors that are doing well for this specific keyword. So let's take a look at some of this data. So what we see here, if we go to the terms to use section, Surfer is giving us specific suggestions for phrases and words that we should be using on our page to improve the relevance and the context of that page, right? So we see the Instagram caption generator, it's saying that we should add at least 5 to 14 right the suggested is 6 to 15 and I've only added it once so the phrase Instagram captions I've added it six times suggested is 3 to 8 so it's saying that I'm all good right so there's a lot of really relevant suggestions here that I should add to my page that's gonna improve my on page a lot if we keep scrolling down there's another really cool section here so the word count so it's telling me hey you should add between 966 to 3800 more words to the body of your page and if we actually check on the details we can see what the actual word counts are of our competitors that are performing well for the specific keyword. So as we can see here, we're ranked 38th and we have the number 10th, number 9th, number 7th. I can actually see how many words my competitors have. This helps me know if I'm in the right ballpark or not, if I should be adding more words or if I should be removing words, right? So we see that the average is around here. Obviously, this competitor is definitely bringing up the average, but we might want to add some more words, right? If we keep scrolling down, it also talks about paragraphs. Maybe we need to add more words to our paragraphs. There's another section for exact keywords, right? So it's saying that we're all good here. Uh, we have one exact keyword in title, so that's important. If we keep scrolling, partial keywords, it says, hey, no action required as well. You guys are doing that well. And then the page structure, which this is also really interesting. So it's saying we have one H1 element, which is what we should have, so all good there. But Surfer's telling me, hey, maybe we should be adding more headings, right? So a few of these competitors have quite a few more headings, and maybe that's giving them the edge. So there's other things like title and meta description, so maybe we should be adding more characters to our meta description, to our title. It looks like our title is a little short, and our meta description is definitely a lot shorter than our competitors. So right here, I found something that will definitely improve my rankings, right? So this is exactly what we're looking for. And it also tells us metrics in terms of the speed of our website. So the time to first bite and the load time, right? So this is an incredible amount of data to get specifically for one keyword and specifically for one landing page. So we know exactly how we're doing in terms of on page for that specific page. But guys, the thing is that ideally we want to be at the point where we're creating content that already has that perfect on page. And we can actually do that directly on Surfer. So they have another feature called the content editor, which is something that my content writers use on a day-to-day. -day. So let's check it out. So using the content editor is pretty simple. So all I gotta do is I gotta type in my keywords. So that's Instagram caption generator and I create the content editor. So I've actually created it down here. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna create a blank page from which we can start creating content and writing directly on Surfer. And that's gonna tell us live how we're doing in terms of on page. So if we go into this editor, I've actually gone out and I've copied and pasted the content on my landing page to see how it was doing. And what we see here is that I have a 42 out of 100, right? So I can definitely improve the score. How do I go out and I improve the score? So Surfer actually gives us a bunch of suggestions of terms and of specific keywords that we need to add to our content, which is gonna help that relevance and it's gonna help that on page. It also gives us suggestions in terms of headings that we should be adding. And again, let me show you guys. So if I type in best Instagram caption generator, we're gonna see that that score goes up two points, right? So this is a live score that Surfer is calculating for us and it's phenomenal. So this is something that's perfect for content writers or if you're a content manager, this is a great tool to make sure that all of your content has perfect on page before going out and publishing it. I wanna show you guys this last feature because this is the one that really impressed me. I've never seen a tool 
do this before. So this last feature is called the SERP analyzer, right? So what is the SERP analyzer? So the SERP analyzer basically gives us a super in-depth breakdown of all the different factors that are important on on-page SEO, and it gives us data relating to the correlation of each of these factors and whether Surfer is seeing a positive correlation between a specific factor and the ranking for our competitors. So let's take a look at what this means. The important thing that we need to take a look at here is these specific bars. So the greener and the fuller these bars are, that means there's a higher correlation of this specific factor influencing high rankings for this specific keyword. So what this is telling us is that the more exact keywords you add, the better your website's gonna perform. And we can actually see this in this specific graph. So people that are ranked between the 41st and 48th position only have around 1.6 exact keywords in their content versus when you look at the number one to number 10, they have around five, right? And we also see that competitors that are ranked 11th to 20th, maybe they've over-optimized their exact keywords and that's the reason why they're placed on the second page. So this lets us know that yes, it's important to add exact keywords in our body, but there could be a limit that Google thinks is too much, right? So we can do this breakdown with a variety of factors and all of this helps us understand what our competitors are doing in terms of their on-page and what can we copy and what can we replicate for our page to perform at that level, right? Here's another breakdown. So we could take a look at the actual characters inside the H2 to H6 headings. So again, it's definitely important to fill out those headings, but it looks like there's a specific limit that Google considers to be ideal, right? So around 350 characters in each of those headings. Looks like, again, there's that top level that people on the second page are hitting. And we see that correlation of those that might have over optimize their headings and as a result they're on the second page right so this SERP analyzer is incredible to know exactly what our competitors are doing it's a phenomenal tool to use before we go out and we start creating content to know exactly what's working and what isn't so does it seem like there's one specific on-page factor that is super important that we should prioritize and make sure that we cover this is exactly where you can find it so it's a great help guys I've added a link in the description if you guys want to check out surfer I hope you guys learn from this I'll see you guys in the next one.